You want to projection map your house for holidays like Halloween and Christmas, but you don't know where to start. You might already be asking yourself things like, what kind of projector do I need for house mapping? What software should I use? Or where can I find video content to project on the house? This series of videos is intended as a crash course in everything you need to know to get started. I've tried to make a video for all the major aspects of holiday house mapping. First, you'll need to figure out if your house is suitable for house mapping. You'll need to think about how house size, shape and colour impact on house projection mapping. You also need to think about the problem of ambient light from both artificial and natural sources, which will compete with your projections. Then you're going to need to decide which mapping method to use. On the one hand, you have the outline method, where you design your show over a guide with perspective baked in. On the other hand, you have the orthographic method, where you design on a flat guide without perspective and introduce perspective later using projection mapping software. Each have their advantages and disadvantages, which I'll discuss. There are two main stages to house projection mapping. One stage is designing and editing your projection show. The other stage is mapping it onto your house. You'll need software to help you achieve both these things. Great software options for designing your projection show are DaVinci Resolve, which is free, or Adobe After Effects, which is subscription-based. The software you need for mapping depends on the method you chose and might include projection mapping applications like MadMapper and Resolume. Obviously, you'll need a projector, but you might be unsure on what type of lens or brightness you need. I'll talk about why I recommend using a projector with a short throw lens and recommend a minimum brightness in the 3000 to 3500 lumen range. If you want to incorporate audio into your show, your options are either speakers or an FM transmitter or both. If you want to leave your projector outside, you might need an enclosure. The challenge is balancing adjustability, stability and security in a design that blends into your yard and can withstand changes in weather and temperature. You'll need to think about other hardware too, like a media player which plugs into your projector and handles playback of your video. You might need a higher performance laptop or computer with which to design and edit your show. Speaking of designing your show, you're going to need some video content. There are a ton of free resources out there and also some high quality paid content. There is also the option of purchasing a pre-made show. Lastly, on the big one, budget. I estimate you can do house mapping for as little as $640, but can also spend up to $5,000. I'll break down those numbers and show you where the money goes. That's just a taste of what you can expect in this series. Check out the full videos to get a crash course in holiday house projection mapping. See you there.